The bread and butter of the Mondraker electric mountain bike lineup is back for 2022. These enduro all mountain bikes are equipped with 160 millimeters of travel, of course Mondraker zero suspension setup, and massive battery capacities. I am talking, of course, about the Mondraker Crafty bikes. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the Mondraker Crafty R. The Crafty R is going to be one of the base models from Mondraker's Crafty series that makes these bikes approachable for any rider, both in price and also in riding style. With a playful geometry, but specs that can handle a beating where it matters, these bikes generally are capable of almost anything. But will the same be true for 2022? Let's take a look at the Mondraker Crafty R. After that little teaser, let's talk about specs, baby. Let's talk about specs, baby. The Bosch Smart System is the headliner on this bike. Many of Mondraker's EMTBs are coming with this brand new system this year. Of course, that's going to come with that 750 watt hour battery. That's probably the marquee update on the Bosch Smart System. You're also getting a Bosch CX motor with 85 Newton meters of torque and 250 watts. That is one of the strongest motors on the market. And Mondraker has decided to give you the full Bosch Smart System package by including including both the Bosch LED remote and that Kiox 300 display. Those Bosch brains and brawn meets beauty in that derailleur. You have got a SRAM GX Eagle 12 speed derailleur, 11 to 50 tooth cassette. That is a massive gear ratio on a mid to higher level derailleur, which is very surprising and it's a welcome surprise, I will say, on this entry level Mondraker Crafty R. The wide gear ratio combined with that Bosch motor should make climbing any hill a breeze. SRAM is going to round out your group set as well. You've got G2R hydraulic disc brakes with four pistons. Definitely want to see four pistons on a bike like this. And you also want to see what you got, 200 millimeter rotors front and rear. Now you might know a little something about Mondraker's zero suspension setup if you've watched our intro to Mondraker video, but if you haven't, I'll put it up here for you. But whether or not you know anything about the zero suspension system, you're definitely going to recognize incredible Fox suspension front and rear. Up front, you have got 160 millimeters of travel in the fork. It is going to be a Fox 38 float performance with a fit grip damper. The fit grip damper is a motocross design damper that is newer and combines just about everything you like about a grip damper with the fit damper as well. And is honestly, again, more than I would have expected on the entry level Crafty R. That pattern continues with the rear shock in the back. You've got the Fox Float X. This is rapidly becoming my favorite rear shock in the industry. You've got that piggyback canister and it feels good on every bike that I've ridden it on so far. Honestly, really great to see the Fox Float X instead of something like the DPS. Mondraker groups the Crafty R with its all mountain bikes and the geometry is definitely appropriate for an all mountain enduro bike where you're still wanting some nice playfulness, but you're definitely taking some big hits. You've got a 76 degree seat tube angle along with a 65.5 degree head tube angle. I was also happy to see a 29er wheel set on this bike. I'm a bigger fan of those than 27.5s generally for an all mountain style. Plus you're getting plus size tires. It's going to be 2.6 inches wide on Maxxis Minions front and rear. These tires and wheels are going to help you roll over obstacles that you're not able to maneuver around, but you probably will be able to make your way around most obstacles because you have that forward geometry and this all mountain style bike. I think a lot of times people might see 160 millimeters of travel and assume it's kind of like a boat. You're just gonna have to go straight downhill and that's it. But that is what I love about the Mondraker Crafties. They are way more playful than you might realize. And you're about to see how playful they are right now as we have Austin take this bike out. He's gonna let you know what he thinks about it and then we're gonna come back here and I'm gonna tell you my thoughts. Austin, take it away. Let's get ready to shred it. So we're definitely gonna put these Maxxis 2.6 inch tires to the test. L29er, Woo! Fox 38, hit this berm, that berm. Oh, let's blast this straight away right here. Woo! Oh, just eating up the chunk. Skip that jump. Want to hold some speed. More chunk in this right here. We'll hit this. Woo! Set up wide for the loose sandy berm and then get on the pedals. Spike pedals really well. 
super supportive pedal, pedal platform. Woo! Blast into the tree. All right, here we go. Riding on the edge here, super loose. Woo! Air that rock. Pedal, pedal, pedal. This bike feels really well balanced. A lot more maneuverable than the level is. And that's to be expected. Oh, loose corner. Right on the edge. We'll pop up wide here. Oh, that was tight. Now pedal through the trees. We're going to be coming up on Scott here. Let's regain our breath before we push it. Just ate a bug. Haha. <laughs> before we push it through the last rock garden section. All right, here we go. Let's see what the bike's really made of right here. So we are pedaling back up to Scott now. That was insane. This bike is insane. Still love the Crafty. Still one of my favorite EMTBs that I've ridden. I know I say that a lot about a lot of EMTBs, but the Crafty definitely has the sweet spot in my heart. Spent the most time on this platform out of any other electric mountain bike that I've tested and it's because I love it. <laughs> Here we go, climbing back up, putting that motor to the test. But, uh, but yeah, it pretty much handled I mean, not pretty much. It, it, it destroyed everything we pointed it at straight through all of these rocks right here. The, the 29er front and rear, we're eating it up. I'm not too, not too concerned that it's not a mullet. I actually like the full 29er. It rolls incredibly fast. That rear wheel just crushes the trailing, the trailing end of the bike. And back to what I was mentioning, I say this about all the Mondrakers because it is indeed true. They pedal incredibly well. That steep C-tube angle mixed with the short stem keeps you up over top of the pedals, especially over these technical rocks. And granted, it is an e-bike, but it does pedal extremely well. It doesn't feel like I'm fighting the pedals to go over anything. And that's because the center of my body is over top of them, pedaling more down versus a slacker C-tube angle where I'll be sitting back a little bit more relaxed. So that's something you always hear people talk about in regards to the Mondraker, that you are up over top of the bike. But once you get used to that and how well they descend, you will learn to absolutely love the Crafty platform. So I had very few complaints about the Crafty R after taking it out for a ride. I've always been a big fan of that zero suspension system. I don't really like four point suspension setups as much as these systems that feel a little bit more rigid in the climb like the zero suspension system. But what is really nice about Mondraker setup is that things really do feel like they're loosening up and get really playful when you start to take it downhill. As I mentioned in the spec breakdown, I was very surprised at the high quality of some of the components being that this is the lowest level crafty you can get. I'd highly recommend you hop onto flyridesusa.com and compare the Crafty R with other enduro all-mountain bikes because even though it's a slightly higher price point than other entry-level bikes, you are getting components that are significantly better and I think it's still a great value even at its current price point. So take a look at the Crafty R and compare it to some of the other bikes in its class and see what you think. If you've looked at the Mondraker bikes before, you probably realize that they do offer aluminum and carbon versions of a lot of these bikes, so you might be wondering whether you should go for the carbon or aluminum version. While I definitely think carbon and aluminum bikes offer different benefits, I wouldn't choose the carbon bike just because you want to save a little bit of weight. You're not saving that much weight between the Crafty R and the Crafty Carbon R. So I would make sure it's because you like the feel of a carbon bike beneath you as opposed to an aluminum bike. For my money, I think the Mondraker Crafty R makes a little bit more sense 
because you are getting those really high quality components at a lower price than I would have expected. I think the Mondraker Craft ER offers a lot of different things for a lot of different riders. Newer riders will definitely appreciate the ability to stay on the ground because of the way the geometry is on the Mondraker Craft ER, but it is also a bike you can grow into because you have a 38 millimeter stanchion fork up front with 160 millimeters of travel, along with some incredible suspension in the back, really a solid derailleur that should last you quite some time if you're keeping it in tune. And of course, one of the best, most reliable motors on the market with one of the highest watt hours that you can possibly get. This is a bike that you'll not only enjoy riding, but it gives you the ability to make mistakes if you're not the best rider in the world because it does have a lot of forgiveness built in. With that grounded suspension, plus size tires, and massive battery, meaning you can just keep running the same lap all day until you're an expert. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Fly Rides Electric Bike channel. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you've gotten to ride any of the 2022 Mondraker bikes. Make sure to check out all our other EMTB reviews to make sure you're getting the right bike for you. And until next time, enjoy the ride.